today we're going to do vein bridge oscillator so when you get vein bridge, vein bridge oscillator the first thing you need to know is a formula f is equal to 1 by 2 pi root r1 r2 c1 c2 what we're going to do is r1 and r2 c1 and c2 will be the same so we'll be using this formula okay and uh, you need to you have to draw this table so for you need to take four trials for different combinations of r and c and then you'll calculate the theoretical frequency and then the measured frequency this is our circuit diagram so the first connection we'll do is from 7 to plus vcc 7 to plus 12 volts and then we'll do 4 to minus 12 4 to minus 12 will go from 2 to 1k to ground so we'll do small 1 2 to 1k and yeah before before doing the ground connections we have to initialize a common ground for everything so i'll i'll go from here all the way to common ground okay now we'll go from this 1k to this common ground so this will be our ground connection for For all these, this ground, this ground, and then the output ground will be this common ground. Okay, and then we'll go from two to potentiometer. This two to potentiometer, ten k potentiometer, and then the other end of ten k potentiometer back to six. Now let's do the resistors and uh, capacitors connection. So from three we have a one k resistor. So three to one k. From the other end of one k we're going to capacitor, and then from the other end we're going back to pin number six. So from this end of the one k we're going to point one micro capacitor, and then from the other end back to six. Now uh, this is the series connection. To do the parallel connection, we're gonna do three to capacitor, three to resistor, the other ends, both of them to common ground. So let's go first three to resistor, and then uh, resistor to common ground. Uh, three to capacitor, and capacitor to common ground. Yeah. So we basically completed the circuit. Fully. Now, uh, to we're taking output at pin number six and ground. So we'll use the CRO for that. I've already connected it to channel one. So the output is between the ground, the common ground, and pin number six. Yeah. So now, when we turn this on. So, yeah initially you'll get something something like this basically a square wave so you need to turn this knob till you get something resembling a sine wave so right now i have a sine wave so you you have something like this keep turning it until you get a sine wave like just before it goes to zero signal stop just before that so this is your output now let's look at the table right So you have given one k input, point one microfarad capacitor. Now we need to take horizontal peak to peak distance. So let's put one peak at the center and take the distance to the next peak. Since in CRO each one unit is point, so it is one full and then each small unit. So one point four. So horizontal peak to peak distance reading is the distance between this peak and this peak. Time per division is this value over here. Time time base. So that is your time per division value. Uh, you need to multiply these two to get your time period, and then frequency is nothing but one by time period. So you'll divide one by whatever value you get to get the frequency, and then you calculate theoretical frequency using this formula that we had written before, one by two pi R C, and you just they need to match. So you do the same thing for different combinations. Say next you'll take R is ten k. So you just shift the last two one k's. All the way to 10k.
and I guess make sure nothing else changes. Yeah. So when you do this, you shifted R to 10K, right? So obviously this will change, change the time per division until you get something similar to what you had before. So now it is five milliseconds and uh, you can see even though it's blinking, it's still around around 1.4 then you need to change the capacitance just take the two capacitors move it all the way back to 0 0.01 micro don't change anything else just do this and uh, yeah so you're supposed to get the output just Play around with the time space until you get something, you know, that looks like this. It's easier to calculate the yeah, horizontal of the big four. And that is the whole experiment. In the end, you just need to write the calculations and write that the experiment is very